Yes, it's time to take another trip out to Dollar Tree. And I am so excited that they have out all of their summer stuff. And it is quite full and they are still putting out stuff. And when I am looking around, the thing that caught my eye was the hot pink fuchsia colors. I just think that is so summery and I love them all. And these cups just caught my eye. I love that they are four for a dollar twenty five. So that is a great price to use. And you can use them as cups or vases. So we're going to be pulling out a lot of stuff here from Dollar Tree. And I'm really focusing in on all of the hot pink fuchsia colors. Look at these lays. They are so colorful and pretty and fun for a party. Come on, let's get going. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. Hey everybody, this is Susie Stuff, and I'm Susie. I'm so glad you tuned in today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and give me a thumbs up. It totally helps my channel. So let's get ready to make some stuff. Come on! And to start us off with our hot summer DIY adventure today is this beautiful be the sunshine sign. I picked this sign up at Walmart. It's $4.97, which I think is a great deal. Look at all the pieces. And that would cost about $5 anyway if I picked up the boards from Dollar Tree. So I picked up this flamingo from Dollar Tree. He is so cute. I love that he's small, but I needed to give him a little makeover. He was a little dull looking. So I'm using this beautiful fuchsia color paint from Dollar Tree. I was very impressed with it and it turned out great. I also used some yellow to kind of brighten up his beak and I thought I was going to use black, but I didn't need to. It came out great. I needed some little sneakers for his feet and so I ran over to the toy section and I was so excited to find these cool little baseball sneakers. How cute is that? And the sneakers fit perfectly on those little skewers. They're just so cute. And now I have this little um, sticker from Dollar Tree, Be the Sunshine. And I was trying to, it was a little too wide and I wanted the sun up at the top. So I was trying to cut this out so carefully. And then I'm just like, nope, forget it. I'm cutting off the E. And so I cut out the E and um, we'll add that on there. And then I add the sun at the top. I love that this sticker is clear on the background. It's kind of like a window cling, I guess. And um, I was trying to put it on there in the right way. I'm gonna move it in a little bit, but I just wanted it in between the lines where I could cut it so it didn't take away too much of the letters. So I couldn't salvage the sun on his little rays. So I thought, let's just cut him out. And then what I'm gonna do is paint the rays on. I think that turned out even better. And I just took my X-Acto knife and trimmed out the sun there. It came out pretty good. And you can see down below, I moved the Be The Sunshine part where the little space is in between the S and the U and that came out really well. And so all I'm gonna do is just paint these uh, little rays on. And I chose some colors that kind of went with the colors in the Be The Sunshine part and some of that fuchsia color so it would match the flamingo. And now I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge because I didn't like that shininess. And so all I do is just put one coat on there and instantly it makes it more of a matte finish, which I love. That part turned out great. So all I have left to do is add Mr. Flamingo. Here he comes. He's so excited. And a little hot glue will do the trick and this little Be The Sunshine project is complete. Yay! 
I love it. And I'm really excited about this board. Like I said, it was $4.97 from Walmart, and I think that's a great deal. But you could use the little pieces of wood that they have at Dollar Tree and make your own, I guess, for the same amount of price. So everybody, be the sunshine today. Now, what do you say we relax with a cool drink? And I picked up those little cups, four for $1.25, and this really cool straw placemat. And all I did was just unravel it. I found, I kind of cut a little bit and then just pulled it out, the little um, thread, and it just started unraveling. And so I thought it would be cool to um, hot glue around the cup. You could go all the way around. I love that this little straw stuff is actually plastic, so it's not going to interfere with any wetness from the from your um, beverage. So I uh, showed you there, I could, you could go all the way down, but I just did one little strip, and then I'm gonna grab my little wooden, um, what do you call those, those little wooden pieces uh, that they have, like little wooden stickers, and I thought it would be neat if you had a small gathering to kind of lay them out, and then people could pick their own little wooden piece to put on their cup. You really don't have to put on hot glue. The sticker part really does stick on there well. And so I just thought these were so cute to put on and everybody could have their own little wooden piece. I also found these little stickers. I loved the color in them, sort of neutral, but have that hot pink color in there too. So I love those cups. That was easy to create. And now we need to relax. These little wooden cutout pieces I did pick up from um, Dollar Tree, and I haven't seen them lately, so try to find them. But any of the wooden pieces would work. I just thought there are so many. How could I use them? You could hot glue them all over the relax sign. Um, these little stickers are so cool. I mean, these are. this is an endless way that you could use these little stickers on these signs. I thought it was so cute. So all I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to paint the relax sign with some hot pink. I love this acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. It works great. And I love the price and I love this color. I think I said before it was fuchsia. It's actually magenta and it really is. I don't, I don't think the camera is doing it justice. It's so pretty in person. I love it. So I just added a little flamingo on there. That's what I went for today. And this is how it all came out. This would be great on your patio table with a couple of friends enjoying some, some iced tea and some lemonade. And if you're just by yourself, what a wonderful little setup you can create. And also if you didn't wanna use the cups as a drinking cup, I love that you can make them into a really cute little vase and put them in groups of three or five. And there's just many ways that you can use them. So relax with a cool drink today. I had a lot of the straw left over from the placemat, so I thought, let's make a quick tropical wreath. And so I grabbed a foam wreath from Dollar Tree, a little bit of paint, because I'm just going to paint it. It kind of showed through when I put the straw on it, and you don't need to do a lot. I think there's some spots that I missed. Just let it dry. And then start by just starting out with some hot glue and then just wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. This was one placemat. This took no time to do and ever so often I just added a little drop of hot glue to kind of secure it. So I just had a little bit left over. Remember I used some on those cups. So I think one uh, placemat would have fit the whole thing. But I'm just gonna use my little lay that I got at Dollar Tree. I thought it was just one in the pack, but there was actually three little lays in that one pack. 
it had it said three piece on there but it was so small I didn't even notice so um, but that was lucky I love that and look how cute that is now I'm just gonna use one of the little succulents to add a little bit of green color in there and sort of tropical almost looks like the top of a pineapple and it was a little tall you can't really tell there but it was a quite tall so I do trim it down cut it off a little bit and then I added a little skewer cut that down and then stuck it right inside the wreath boom where'd that go this is so so easy i love that hot pink color it is so festive and then um, some of the little extra pieces I do cut and put in there a little bit more you'll see I like the little flip-flops so I'm gonna add those right on and we are pretty much done how cute is this I think you could use it as a wreath or even like a centerpiece maybe add a candle inside of it but I think it is so darling and so festive with all those beautiful hot pink colors And here you go, a quick hot pink summer decor for your patio or your dining room table or wherever. So relax and enjoy. Let's have some flip-flop fun making a welcome summer sign. I've got these flip-flops from Dollar Tree and just a simple canvas from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just gonna use this yellow apple barrel paint and I'm gonna kinda do a crisscross pattern with this paint. I just don't want to uh, cover the whole thing. I love this little technique and uh, I'm just using kind of a chippy brush going one way, let it dry, and then just go the other way. I think it's a really cool little technique and it comes out great. And while that's drying, let's just jazz up our little flip-flops. I'm gonna take off the little green plastic part and add some nautical rope on there. I just put some duct tape on the ends so I could push it through really easily. And I had to kind of make a bigger hole at the top. And then I cut off the excess and uh, kind of secured it with some hot glue. And now that our canvas is dry, I love that pattern, don't you? I think it would be cool with some other colors. I think I'm gonna do that pattern with uh, maybe some uh, patriotic stuff. That's gonna be my next video. So all I'll do is hot glue these right on there. It already has the words on there, hello summer. I love that little bottle I got at Dollar Tree too. I got some gingham ribbon and just made a couple of simple bows and I'm gonna hot glue those right on top of the flip flops. And then I'm gonna create a little um, frame to go around it. And I'm using these paint sticks from Walmart. I hot glued those right on and I used some Apple Barrel Beach Comber Beige to sort of whitewash or wash over the sticks and look how cute that came out. I love this sign. I added a little hanger at the top and it is adorable. I think it would be cute on your patio or if you have a pool, hang it out there. But this is so simple to put together and I hope you enjoy it. Dollar Tree has the cutest flip-flops lately, and I love that hot pink flamingo. He sure is showing off. This is my favorite one today, and it's called the Watermelon Bush.
I'm starting out with these round styrofoam pieces from Dollar Tree. Some caulk, which I have not been able to find at Dollar Tree lately, so I had to pick that up at Walmart, which was $3. And it's kind of messy, but it's so much fun. So you saw I just cut some slice pieces out of that round styrofoam, grabbed some gloves, and then just stuck on the caulk, and it just rubbed on so nice and easy, and it was so fun. I loved this process, and it was just, this is why we craft. I just loved this so much. So I did them all, put a uh, skewer on there, and then stuck them in a little place to dry. Took off that super easy cleanup. Oop, I had a little caulk left over. And then we're just gonna let that dry. Now, this is about, I would say, 10 minutes. It dries super quick. And all I'm doing is kind of going around and pushing down any of the little pointy pieces that kind of came up on there. I just stuck that on there and it's all drying which came out perfect. Now I'm using my favorite paint today, and that is the magenta acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. This color is gorgeous. I'm telling you, it's so pretty. And so now we're just gonna paint the watermelon slices. I just love this music and it's so tropical and fun. I just love it. Okay, so now here comes the green. This green was some acrylic green from Dollar Tree as well. And I just left a little white gap there and super easy to put on and we just threw that on. Now the, yeah, there it is right there. I don't know the color of it. It was just one of the only greens except there was this fluorescent green and I just thought it would be perfect to add in between there like right on the white sort of blend that together very forgiving you just kind of wipe it off it dries super quick and then I put it on the rind part I thought that made it look really watermelon authentic and so I did that to all my pieces as well Can you tell that I just had the best time creating these little things? They were so much fun. Now comes the black for some seeds. Although I buy the seedless watermelons, they are the best. But this is so cute. And then the last thing that I do is I grab my semi-gloss clear. I just wanted it to kind of come together. And look at that. That dried very quickly. Not real shiny. It's a little semi-gloss, and so I love how that turned out. Really sealed it up nicely. So I found this old um, rustic pot that I had out in the backyard. I, I couldn't believe I found it. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> and I'm sure you might have something like that, or you could use a pot from Dollar Tree, or make your own, just whatever pot you have available. I stuck some boxwood greenery in there from Dollar Tree. That was some pretty nice greenery there, Dollar Tree. And then I just stuck them on skewers and added that in there. How adorable is this? It is sitting on my coffee table right now. I love it. I did add a little green gingham bow on that top slice. You could use these slices anywhere, maybe put them in a tray, um, a dish or something, but I just love this project. It was so much fun. I think it would be great with a group of friends to create them, get messy, have fun, and you get to paint and you come out with a wonderful decor piece. Here comes a little unique project I came up with. It's called the house tray. I've got four of the house uh, little signs from Dollar Tree, some wooden beads, whatever you have, and a skewer. And so I hot glued all the houses together like this with a little bitty hole in the center and I'm going to add a bead right on top of that hole to secure that and then I'm going to push in the little skewer. And what I'm going to do is add about I think I add four more of the little beads on there. I just hot glue them on and then just kind of uh, add um, hot glue down in there. 
it does become really sturdy. And so to guarantee that, I added some popsicle sticks on the bottom and it didn't wobble or anything. It was really straight. So that helped with um, making it secure as well. So all that came together nicely, very, very sturdy. And then I just continued by adding the little uh, wooden beads there on top. And then I cut off, look how cute that is. And then I cut off the top of the skewer and added a giant little wooden bead that I had. And that's it. How cute is this? I'm so happy. Oh, I love it. And so now you can do whatever you like. What I chose to do is put some stickers in there and I thought I'm gonna use these, uh, those little ones that are like the flamingo. But I remember I had these big giant gorgeous flowers with the colors we're going with today. And they, I just stuck them on there and they really do stick nicely. And so I just put that on the tray. Look how cute it comes out. And look how cute that is. Those flowers are just so pretty. Now I'm cracking up because I went around the house trying to grab stuff to put in there and um, you could use it as a little candy tray, a little cookie tray, some cheeses and crackers. How about some crepes? And then I love this spicy, sweet and spicy trail mix from Dollar Tree. I always grab some when I go in there and it was pretty empty. So we're going to pretend that this uh, little platter is already in session at a little gathering. And so it's so cute in um, I think that it's a good conversational piece and it truly is um, very sturdy. You can pick it up from the center and it looks good with our cups, our relax sign. And I think also you could add some candles in there. Um, maybe the watermelon slices might look very cute as well, but just anything that you like, come up with your own. Um, and I love that that hope that I've inspired you by using these little houses to turn them into a tray. It's the house tray. Have fun. And the last of my new DIYs today, because I have an oldie but goodie coming up here in just a little bit, is this flamingo frame. It is so easy. I just grabbed those little flamingo napkins, cut a square around the flamingo, and I also used that uh, paper that they have now at Dollar Tree. You can pull off the back to stick it, and I just got a Dollar Tree frame and it's done. Look at that. I love how it came out. You could also also, which I was thinking about doing is putting some of that those lay pink uh, flowers around it but I just love how simple this turned out I know you can do this one I love it and now it's time for my oldie but goodie segment and it's a hashtag throwback DIY of one that I did last year and I usually also share a picture of me from back in the day and yes that is me as a first grade teacher with my class we had such a good time and I'd always take my group pictures with books but enjoy this really quick DIY oldie but goodie
And I just love how this little watermelon garland turned out. Those were some beads that I picked up in the party section of Dollar Tree, and it is super cute. I love it. So enjoy making an oldie but goodie DIY watermelon garland today. And I love my oldie but goodie, and I hope you love them too. Just let me know in the comments down below. I just love pulling out all of my old stuff and sharing it with you. And there it is, my hot pink, hot summer DIYs. I loved all the pink paint and all of the colors that we use today. I think they coordinated really well together. And try to pick up some of that magenta pink paint at Dollar Tree. I just think the colors came out great. I love the watermelon slices. I hope that you're able to make that. So inexpensive and so easy to do. And I hope I've inspired you today to create your own and I loved everything I hope you did too let me know because um, I'm gonna be making some patriotic stuff coming up here shortly so stay tuned for that I hope you enjoyed my hot summer DIYs thanks for tuning in today I post new episodes weekly so make sure you get the Susie alert by clicking the bell and always remember you're not just a subscriber but also a friend so see you next time on Suzy Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.